Hello everyone, welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom. I am Lavinia with your May 2nd to 8th 2016 reading. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. I also want to thank you for your loyal support and best wishes. Using my virtual deck as my divination tool enables me to clearly show that spirit is here waiting to assist and provide guidance and assistance when called upon. Those of you who embrace the message and my strong connection to spirit, my sincere love and gratitude to you. Continue to like, share and subscribe and show your love. For a personal reading with me, visit my website www.angelheartwisdom444.wibbly.com Book and purchase your readings. Email your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com this week's reading layout is the energy of the week, message from the higher self, the focus, energy in the home, and the message surrounding love and romance. And the decks that I'm going to be using are the Angel Tarot Oracle and the Love Oracle. Taurus, thank you and welcome. Hope you guys had an, an amazing week. You were regenerative force. You know, you had to really focus on your your dreams uh and receive from the universe and believe what you have been manifesting is what is gonna come to you you also had to forgive the past forgive yourself forgive others so let's see what your team has in store for you for this week you're gonna start off with the energy of the week and it is trust so trust that everything happening is not without reason trust that you are gonna reach your final uh, internal ascension okay trust that the route that you're on is the right one how many times have you visited um, your friends so that they can give you advice okay how many times have you said to yourself wow um, this person's advice is really good how many times have you searched for answers outside yourself instead of within how many times have you doubted blamed yourself instead of simply asking yourself a question and letting things happen so trust the process trust the path that you're on this week everything happening to you now what where you at right now is where you're supposed to be your affirmation is what kind of energy space and consciousness can I be so I can listen to myself trust and believe in myself in any moment now and in the future okay trust yourself yourself you you contain all the answers your team is there with you pushing you and guiding you along and for those of you by now you could see there is clarity in your decision making you can see exactly where you're heading where you are going message from the higher self for you this week again trust yourself trust yourself you know the answers trust yourself don't look for happiness outside yourself why do you trust everybody else but yourself you are the only one who knows everything about you no one else can give you your answers and i'm feeling like this week people may try to confuse you and take you off your path take you off your direction but stick to what you know is true for you okay stick to the direction the path that you're on trust it trust yourself your affirmation is what can i add to my life in order to trust myself more than i can even imagine okay so restore that faith in the self focus for the week your focus is on focus okay that's very interesting because sometimes we focus on what we don't want and we manifest that into our lives so Focus on the positive this week because that is what you are going to get. Thoughts of things, stream good thoughts from the universe. Are you focused on the absence and judgments? Do you always see other people's faults first? Are you aware that you create lower frequencies by doing so? Can you try to change your focus? Okay, so focus on the positive. The negative is going to come. It's a test to see exactly to keep your thoughts positive and to see you, what you're truly desiring is is what you you want 
okay so your affirmation is what do I truly want why is it that I am always focused on the positive why is it that I always see the positive characters in others we are reflections of the self so try to use less judgments this week because when you judge someone you're judging that aspect of yourself that you don't necessarily like let's see what your energy in the home is for this week love okay so the union of two hearts love for the self love for the family love for those in your home in your environment in your work okay so focus in the home is on love yeah have you thought about the word love what does it mean to you how much love do you give or receive in your life would you like to change that why is it your affirmation is why is it that I feel more love in my life in my heart every day why is it that I am more loved every day when you focus on love and you express love that is what the universe is gonna give back to you and for those of you who are celebrating your birthday this week happy birthday to you you know I had my son's birthday last week and next week I'm gonna be celebrating as well so focus on love focus on the abundance trust yourself you contain all the answers let's see what the energy is for you surrounding love and romance last week um, there were you, you, spurred for love spirit wanted you to know you will know when is the right time to make those moves to make those changes whatever it is your heart has been desiring so Hope you took heed and are waiting patiently for the guidance of your team okay ask the question again tomorrow so I'm feeling like it's still not the right time to make those moves those changes to start a relationship you know take time ask this, the question again tomorrow I feel like you don't have all the information within a situation and things are gonna become a little clearer so let me know how those messages resonated with you for the week don't forget to like share, and subscribe and for personal reading with me check out the links in the description box below and trust the self yeah have a beautiful week